Hey there, fifth grade orchestra members. Uh, this video is to help you work on number 102, This Old Man. Um, this is going to be our next belt song, the yellow belt, I do believe. Uh, so if you are still struggling at this point with G string notes, then I would recommend go ahead and take a pencil and write in the note names. There's nothing wrong with doing that um, occasionally, once in a while. We just don't wanna have to do it for forever. So that might actually help you at this point. Um, if you're having trouble identifying the notes quickly enough to go ahead and write them in and make sure that you've got the correct notes. Um, after you've done that, then of course the next step is make sure you know the fingers that go with those notes. Um, and that seems to be a little bit easier for a lot of you, but if you're struggling there, then I might recommend just go ahead and practice fingering while you say the note names. So I would go for example, D, B, D, D, B, D, E, D, C, B, A, B, C, and so on, like that through the song, all right? So I like to break this one down into two measure chunks. I think that works pretty good for this one. So the first two measures, um, we just said the note names and fingered them, if you're doing that with me. So it goes D, B, and D. Um, if you're a violin or viola player, it's asking you to use fourth finger D, except for the last half note. Um, if you're a cello or bass player, then you want to make sure you set up your tunnel. So you've got open D and then either three fingers cellos down for that B or bass is one finger down on that A string. Okay, so let's try the first two measures, just D and B. One, two, ready and play. <laughs> That's how that goes. Go ahead and try that a couple times on your own. You can pause the video for a second. All right, and if you feel really good at that, then let's look at the next two measures. So our notes go, let's do notes and fingerings. Ready, go. E, D, C, B, A, B, C, B, C. And those last two eight notes, those really kind of are pickups. They go with the next measure, the next line. Um, but let's just keep them with that measure so that it's a, easy to keep the measure together, okay? Uh, now if you've got those notes and fingerings down, let's go ahead and lay them. One, two, ready, go. And go ahead and pause there a couple times, or you can rewind and do that with me again if you'd like. And then moving on to the second line. Um, we're still using a fourth finger D here, violins and violas. Um, Charles and basses, open D. Uh, this one just goes D, G, 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 G. Then up the scale, G, A, B, C, D. Try that with me. One, two, ready, and play. there if you'd like. And now that you've got that mastered, uh, let's look at the last two measures. You might have noticed there's some up bow markings that I'm actually kind of ignoring while we practice it in chunks right now. When you start the song and play the whole thing straight through, your bow should naturally come out up bow in those places. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. It'll probably happen without you really thinking about it. Uh, the last two measures, we have the notes D, A, A, C, B, A, G. And if you feel comfortable with those fingerings and the notes, let's go ahead and play them. Islands of Yellows, we're starting on fourth finger D again. Ready, go. And go ahead and pause and do that a few times. And now that you've done that, you've worked on the song in two measure chunks, repeat those chunks several times in a row until you feel better about them. Let's try and string the whole thing together. Here we go, this old man from the very beginning. Get your hands set, hit that tunnel, shells and basses. One, two, ready and play. <laughs>
And that is this old man. Now, uh, Violence of Yule is in measure two. You might have noticed that the half note D is an open one. I think we probably talked about it in class, but that one is open because then the next note up there is an E. It's on the D string anyways. That's why they did that, if you're wondering. How come that one's different? So anyways, uh, feel free to go ahead and rewind and do that with me again or practice it on your own. Uh, happy practicing. When you're ready, go ahead and get that video made. Put it in Google Classroom and we can start passing out some more belts.